and good evening everyone and welcome to the your health is important facebook live broadcast we are live in the studios here in atlanta and we are here to answer your health care questions i am dr mj Carr, your host producer and on our personality and the show is about you i want to thank each and every one of you for joining us this evening because i know that you have options and things you can do to be entertained but what we provide here is infotainment we're going to educate you and entertain you and also help you get that high school sexy body back so as you know we have a new and exciting website our website has been upgraded it is now more interactive and one you can go straight to the website and watch this presentation live so we're going to do that. So this is the new website right here. And you see it's, it's, it's got the sites that you can go to and it talks about all kinds of things. But you can go and you can join our, our, uh, our Facebook group here as well. Lipo Cares. You can go to the questions. Ask Dr. MJ. And you can submit your questions at any time. You don't have to wait for this show because oftentimes, uh, you know, we can't get to everybody, of course, and um, we try not to do that. But if you have a specific question that you want to ask, you can send it in and get go straight to the website and we will be able to respond to you and, and uh, get back to you as quickly as possible. So the website is now upgraded. I want to thank our producer, Havoc. He has done such a phenomenal job at this site. This is where you submit your question, your first name, your last name, your email, your phone number and what your question is. And we will get back to you as promptly as possible. So this has made the website more interactive and allows you it just has more tools for you as far as what your concerns are what your issues are uh whatever your healthcare questions are we want to address them so remember you can find the answers to your questions but you always come in here live and we can talk to you on the second and fourth wednesdays at 6 30 p.m eastern standard time so let's do a roll call have let's find out who's with us already So we're going to talk about uh, our, our subject. I forgot we're going to do our uh, monologue first. And our monologue today, this is March. March is colorectal cancer month. And in colorectal cancer month, uh, you know, this is the disease state that is the easiest to diagnose. It is also very susceptible to treatment. You treat it, you have great outcomes, but it is the least diagnosed and least treated because people are not being screened. The primary screening tool has been the traditional colonoscopy the problem with the colonoscopy is this you have to take the time energy and effort to go get one you have to prepare yourself you have to prep your body for one day you go get the test you have to have someone go drive you to the test drive you back home from the test and so basically you have two days uh that uh, you're not functional really so that is difficult for a lot of people that work for a living and that's virtually everybody so there's a new screening test that you can perform in the comfort of your own home this screening test is called Cologuard, and i want everybody men and women if you are age 45 regardless of your family history regardless of, of, of what's going on with your health at 45 you can now be screened it used to be age 50 but the uh, the uh, Food and Drug Administration lowered it, and the recommendations from the CDC was that we need to start screening at age 45, particularly our African-American patient population, because they are more susceptible to this disease state. And when it is diagnosed at a later stage, you have a poor outcome. So what we want to do is get everybody to get screened. So go to your doctor, ladies and men, tell them you want Cologuard. This test Again, in the, in the privacy of your own home, when the test is ordered, a box is delivered to your home. That box contains a kit that you place over your toilet. You have a normal bowel movement. You capture a specimen. You uh, close the plastic bag. You repackage it and send it back out via FedEx, UPS, United States uh, Postal Service. Uh, they will instruct you exactly how to get the test back to them. And after the evaluation of your specimen, looking at uh, various types of, of genetic DNA uh, markers for cancer. It's uh, the effectiveness is 92% for all cancers. And oftentimes uh, there are various types of cancers on the left side of the colon, on the transverse colon, on the right side of the colon. Colon guy doesn't care. It, it diagnoses and captures them all. So if you want to have an opportunity to be screened and come from your own home, all you do is order the kit. Next time you have bowel movement, you carry, carry a specimen. You do not have to have any type of prep. 
So no cleaning, no laxatives, no no any other issues. Uh, you do that, you get the specimen, you go about your normal, usual and customary routine, and now you have successfully been screened for colon cancer. And if that test is positive, if the colon guard is positive, then you're going to be required to get, get a colonoscopy because at that point you need to know what's going on if you have uh, cancerous lesions that can be removed via the colonoscope. You can be treated immediately, particularly in the early stages, or it can be staged based on the findings of the colonoscope. You cannot, if your test is positive, the colon cannot stage your cancer. A, a, only a colonoscopy can do that. But if the test is positive and you do have colon cancer, you need intervention, and that's what the, the colonoscopy will be. But the vast majority of people, of course, uh, will uh, be successfully screened with the colon guard. The test will hopefully be negative, and you just can get this on an annual basis. And so uh, ask your doctor about colon guard. I'm sure you have seen the commercials. This is what it looks like. I'll see if I can get it in screen. Okay, colon guard right there. Your first choice in non-invasive colorectal cancer screening, colon guard. So go to, go to your physician, your primary care doctor. If you have a gastroenterologist, you can go to gastroenterologist, uh, but a primary care doctor, that's your family physician or your internist, can order this test for you. Uh, you can't go to the doc in the box or the urgent care and get this test ordered. But, and the reason why is because the results have to be sent to someone who's taking care of you and is going to follow up with you on the outcome of this test. So very important that you have a primary care physician relationship, one, and two, you get yourself screened. Okay. All right, Habit, let's get to it. Where We want North, South, East, and West, Florida, California. And last time we had our first Canadian, C.L. Turner. Good afternoon from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Thank you, C.L. We appreciate you. Hey, Ms. Bolin, Makiba Bolin, a good friend and patient here in Douglasville. Tia Harris Hall. Hey, Tia, how you doing? Thank you so much for tuning in. Patrick White, good evening. All right. Where you from, Patrick? You didn't say. We want to know. Sherry Gamma from Dallas, Texas. Sherry, you know how to do this thing. Okay, Sophia Napi. Uh, good afternoon, Sophia. We appreciate that. And uh, you join us. Roger Taylor. Swifton. Good evening. All right, that's Swifton. Okay, Keith Keith. Keith Keith from Jacksonville is in the house. Okay, Florida's made it here. Chris Goodjohn from Greensville, South Carolina. We on the East Coast. Rachel Harris from New Orleans, my favorite city in the whole wide world. Home of Grill Roasted Awesome. Hey, Miss Audrey, how are you? Thank you so much from New Orleans. We have another New Orleans Creole in the house. Well, Let Carter, how you doing, with Let from Lakeland, Florida? We appreciate you joining us once again. There you go, CL from Baton Rouge, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, man. We're so glad you joined us. Bertha Point from Pauley's Island, South Carolina. Gina Austin from Fort Worth, Texas. Now we're going west. Okay, Mildred Osborne Cartonig. From Indianapolis, Indiana. Thank you, Ms. Osborne. Valerie Patterson from Nashville, Tennessee. Thank you, Valerie. Okay, Terry Taria McKinney from Grand Rapids, Michigan. Now we Midwest. Okay, Taria, we appreciate that. Winnie King. Hi, Winnie. How are you? From Terrell, Texas. All right, very good. Back to the West. Just Ray Johnson, St. Louis, Missouri. Now we on the West Side. Okay, Portland, Oregon. You may be the first, Phoebe, from Portland, Oregon. Thank you so much. We appreciate that. Robin Harris. Hey, Robin. How you doing? From Illinois, all right then. Terry Magaha. Terry is from Miami, Florida. Terry, thank you so much for joining us from the Extreme South. Robin Harris from Southern Illinois. Okay, Sherry Rubin from Memphis, Tennessee. We appreciate you, Sherry. Kathy London, good evening from New York City. Now we know New York. Any New Jersey's in the house? Okay. Our Canadian is here. Hey, Sherry, how are you? Thank you so much. We appreciate you. Oh, that Canada, California. Okay. Sophie Napi from. South Africa. Okay, you get the award, Sophie. You you might have uh, the best connection here across the world, not just across the country. Sharon Davis from Connecticut. Okay, Sharon. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Sylvia Jones from Michigan. Diana Moore from Louisville, Kentucky. Louisville. We love that. Nikki B from Miami, Florida. Okay. Thank you, Nikki. We appreciate you. Jermaine Kelly from North Carolina. Okay. Everybody's in the house. Lisa Jones from Maryland. Hi, Lisa. How are you? And thank you for joining us this evening. Valerie Williams from Dallas, Texas. Thank you, Valerie. We appreciate you. Okay. Ida Ramin from Tampa, Florida. Okay, Florida. We got Tampa. We got Miami. Okay. Lawrence County, South Carolina. Belma Austin. Thank you, Belma. And Jean. Belma and Jean Austin. Sherry Warren. Happy to be here. Happy to have you here. Okay. Thank you very much for doing that roll call habit. We appreciate that. And let's get to the questions. Okay. 
Okay, Angela says from St. Louis, my daughter wants to know why she keeps getting bacterial infections and how to prevent from getting them. Okay, I'm presuming that you mean bacterial vaginosis, uh, and that can be, uh, it, they can recur. Oftentimes, uh, there are several sources. The primary source and the most common source is actually from your, your own rectum. And that means that, uh, you know, when you wipe, as grandmama used to tell you, you need to wipe from front to back. So you're removing bacteria from the vagina area. Also, uh, intercourse, if she's an adult and she's having uh, sexual intercourse, then uh, any rear entry positions can place bacteria in the vagina that normally wouldn't be there. So those are issues. Probiotics will help with that tremendously. I highly recommend that uh, because that changes the bacterial flora uh, from negative to positive. And then uh, the usual customary, make sure that after intercourse that you uh, urinate as quickly as possible to empty your bladder. I tell my patients that have this issue, drink a full glass of water before you have sexual intercourse. After which, by the time you finish, you'll need to have a, a you, you'll need to urinate and then you can urinate. That blows out uh, bacteria from the urethra and that stops you from getting a urinary tract infection. And then from the vagina proper, you want to clean. Uh, you know, I like to say I, and I like to keep antibacterial wipes on the nightstand. And that way you can do a, a brief cleanup almost immediately. Nobody wants to jump up and run into the shower immediately after sex. You want to cuddle. You want to have an emotional bond. You want to spend some quality time together. So getting up and cleaning up immediately, you know, kind of breaks the mood. So you don't want to have to jump in the shower immediately. But you can perform a quick cleanup with a uh, antibacterial wipe. Uh, and then afterwards, uh, good soap and water to make sure that you clean that perineal area so that uh, bacterial infections don't uh, recur. It's also possible that you could be getting contaminated from your partner, particularly if the male partner has not been circumcised. Uh, bacteria can get under the foreskin and it can cause uh, recurrent bacterial infections. So that, that patient needs to retract the foreskin, make sure that they're cleaning that entire area thoroughly every time they get in the shower. And then that helps cut down on that. If, if that's not the question or concern, then uh, what I mentioned before is in the, the post cleanup as well as uh, again, emptying the bladder so that you remove most of the bacteria from those areas. Great question, Angela. That, that might be the question of the day, the very first one. Okay, Nikki B. Hi, Monique is here, a new client from Florida. Ready to drop this way to become a healthier and happier new me. Monique, we're going to definitely make sure that that happens because you can be the best you that you can be. Uh, if you go to the website, lipodrops.com, and, and answer some a few questions there, you can determine your weight loss journey. Uh, because uh, it's three things. Number one, how much you want to lose. Number two, how quickly you want to lose it. You don't have to try to target weight loss. The Lipodrops products will allow you to lose fat from areas you cannot traditionally lose fat from, like under your chin, the back of the arms, in the bra line, in the abdominal area. Our tagline is lose the muffin top with Lipodrops. You can do a thousand crunches and have a great six pack underneath six to eight inches of fat. You can't crunch away a stomach. You have to lose that weight. And as Dr. Kari has stated over and over, you lose weight in the kitchen, not in the gym. So no matter what technique uh, uh, your trainer is telling you, you are not going to lose weight by going to the gym. You will become physically fit by going to the gym, particularly if you're going three to four times per week. If you're only going twice a week, it's a total waste of time. You're just going to basically end up injuring yourself uh, in doing so. But you need to go three times to get some benefit, four times to get twice the benefit from the exercise regimen. And then, but you lose weight in the kitchen. You modify your diet or you alter your metabolism or both. The Lipo Drops line alters your metabolism so that your body more effectively and efficiently metabolizes your food and that food is utilized as fuel and not stored as fat in your body that can layer. So if you have the inner thighs you need to lose, the outer thighs, the saddlebags, as we state, uh, again, the abdominal area, lose the muffin top with lipo drops. We are in March now. We can have your beach body ready by spring break time and time for you to uh, you know, go on your vacation. You're in Florida already. You're going to be ready for the beach. So thank you, Nikki B. Go to the website, lipodrops.com. Okay, supplements women can use for menopause. Okay, there are various NOx 483 uh, in doing so. One, confirm that you have menopause. The scientific definition of menopause is not having had a period for at least a year. 
I've had many women that go 11 months and then they have another episode of menses. So you have to go at least 12 months uh, with no menstrual cycle. Then not not just light bleeding, no menstrual cycle. That is by definition the diagnosis of menopause. Then you confirm it with blood work by checking uh, estrogen, follicle stimulating or FSH hormone levels and LH luteinizing hormone levels to determine if they are at uh, levels that are appropriate to make that diagnosis of menopause. Now, so what do you do about it? One, there are natural things you can do. To, the predominant hormone that you need to replace is estrogen. So uh, there are multiple phytoestrogen type products that are available at places like Vitamin Shop, uh, the uh, GNC, uh, places where there are people that can will counsel you. You tell them what signs and symptoms you have, and they can give you recommendations as to what you need to get. But the best the best thing you can do for menopausal symptoms is bioidentical hormone replacement therapy, or BHRT. Uh, Google that, uh, and you will find a provider near you that does it. If you are in and around the city of Atlanta, we, we do that service here at my office, and it is literally life-changing. What does it do for you? It helps you sleep better, makes you lose weight stabilizes your emotional status so you're not anxious you're not depressed uh it, it helps you uh, again it increases your libido so your desire for for intimacy with your partner is high your desire is very high it makes the vagina thick and moist so instead of in menopausal state the vagina thins out it becomes dry it becomes unpleasant sometimes when a woman has intercourse so she needs to use uh, a lubricant of some type uh, that is preferably water-based like uh, KY, uh, um, AstroLube, those sorts of things. They're all very good products. Uh, saliva works wonderfully as well. Uh, so you, you have to have a partner that's willing to do that uh, to get you ready, so to speak. And then, but uh, you're moisturized, but your vagina walls are so thin that uh, you can enjoy sex, doing sex, but afterwards you're sore and it's, you know, it's unpleasant. You don't want to revisit that. So now your partner feels rejected. So to fix that, again, bioidentical hormone replacement therapy makes the vagina once again thick and pink and moist and ready to receive a, your partner for active intercourse. So BHRT, Google that and you'll get great information on it. Uh, this used to be difficult to find, but now there are providers all over the United States. I was one of the early adapters and again have been performing this procedure in my office uh, for at least a decade now. So if you are interested in bioidentical hormone replacement therapy, you can you can go to the website and ask that question. And we can contact you can contact me directly. But if not, just Google it and that'll answer your questions. But you can start off at uh, again the vitamin shop, GNC. Ask the counselor that what can you take for for bio, for hormone replacement with menopause. Great question. Velma Austin, after reaching your goal weight, do you continue to take the lot of the drops as maintenance? If so, how should that be accomplished? Well, to lose weight, I tell patients the lipo drops can be utilized before each meal, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So you squirt one, one dropper full under your tongue. You hold it under your tongue for approximately two minutes, then swallow it. It is absorbed under the tongue. The lipo drop that you swallow doesn't do you any good. It's just on your stomach. That's just a way to dispose of it. You can easily spit it out if you like. But it's absorbed via the oral mucosa, which is very effective and very efficient in absorbing various things. It is as effective as taking an injection, which is why the lipo drops were invented. Most medical weight loss facilities have an injection of a product called LipoBite, and it is a combination of amino acids that stimulates your body's fat metabolism and allows you to not just lose weight, but to lose fat. Well, you have to come to the doctor's office and get those shots once a week or once every two weeks. Everybody starts off with a lot of enthusiasm, particularly once they start to lose the weight, uh, they're really excited about getting the shots, but eventually life intervenes. You start missing shots and your weight loss is uh, impacted negatively. So the lipo drops the exact same medication uh, uh, again, but now you just put it under your tongue and uh, you absorb it that way. And each bottle of lipo drops is enough for you to take three doses a day for one month. Uh, so it is it measures a dropper, measures exactly the proper amount. When you mash the dropper bulb and it brings up one meal into the uh, dropper, you squirt it under your tongue. So for maintenance purposes, I personally, and again, Dr. Kaya is 30 pounds down. Uh, I peaked at 34 pounds and I'm back between, I, I fluctuate between 30 and 34 pounds. I don't want to, uh, uh, I just want to maintain at this point. I don't really want to lose anymore. 
but 30 pound weight loss was very dramatic and, it, it, and you know I, I had to get a whole nother wardrobe so uh, you know clothes that fit I'm down uh, to weight than I was a decade ago but more importantly a higher energy level uh, uh, again uh, libido has increased exponentially hopefully performance has increased uh, somewhat as well and uh, so just happy but I, I use lipo drops as maintenance when I wash my face and brush my teeth in the morning uh, while I'm shaving I, I use the lipo drops just one dose a day for maintenance purposes and uh, that is something uh, also that I recommend for maintenance in a lot of patients. I say, but if, if you come off all the products and you see that for whatever reason, you start to gain weight again, when you're three to five pounds, you can literally knock that off in a week. You don't want to wait until you're 15 pounds up. That's what I call real weight that stuck to you now. And now it's more difficult to lose the weight the second time than it was the first time. So you want to make sure that you at, at the first sign that you are gaining weight again you aggressively resume every portion of the weight loss if it's the lipo drops if it's the probiotics if it's the lipo cleanse if it's the keto max whatever products you were using to lose and accomplish that weight loss you want to use those to get back to where you were very very quickly and then for maintenance like i said the lipo drops just one dose a day is very good for that okay great question belma okay real gal 15 so many volumes of something plus something extra like multi plus as for Gonda, is this not overkill? It can be. It depends on what's in the product. Again, Dr. Kyle recommends from the vitamin perspective that you get one pill. The term that you are seeking is a complete multiple vitamin with iron and minerals. A complete multiple vitamin with iron and minerals. You do not want to get just multiple. If it's just multiple, that means more than one. That could just be two. Uh, you want a vitamin that's got everything that you need in one pill. And there's no such entity as a generic vitamin. A vitamin is a fixed chemical formula. There's no better way to make it. Uh, when you pay more than 10 bucks for a vitamin bottle, you're paying for a pretty bottle or a celebrity endorsement, one or the other. So if you see a vitamin product that you like, for instance, one a day for women, Centrum, z -Bank, Right next to it on the shelf in the Publix, in the Target or whatever it says, compare to Centrum, z -Bank, one a day for women. Uh, it's basically the exact same product. So I would get the least expensive generic alternative uh, for that. The, the key with vitamins is this. Everybody's got a bottle of vitamins that's sitting in their house. Most of them haven't even been opened. Those that have been, they take one or two and just stop taking them. Uh, vitamins you have to take. So I recommend you keep them in your bathroom by your toothbrush. You wake up in the morning, you wash your face, you brush your teeth, you take the vitamin. If you take it with a full glass of water, it will be out of your stomach and into your system in two minutes or less. If you just take a sip of water, you're going to melt that vitamin. It's going to be gummy. It's going to sit on your stomach. It's going to have you burping and refluxing and, and taste bad and all of that. So it's very important that you totally dissolve that vitamin in enough water so that it can be reabsorbed and get out of your stomach. You do not have to eat to take vitamins. And so you can if you'd like. Uh, some of our products, like, for instance, omega-3 fish oil, is absorbed better if taken with food, but it will be absorbed uh, regardless. You don't have to take it with food, but if you prefer to take it with food, you can do so, and that enhances its absorption because it is lipophilic. It is, it is fat-soluble and absorbed better with food. Okay, great question. That is overkill. Anna Buckley, 70 and sex drivers through the roof. Is there something wrong with me because I love it? Uh, Miss Buckley, nothing wrong with you. As a matter of fact, you are my new shero. And uh, this is exactly what I want, not just for you, but every 70-year-old or 80-year-old woman. There's no time in your life that sex becomes optional. And I have heard patients say, oh, I don't do that anymore. Or we don't do that anymore. One time I gave a male patient a prescription for Viagra. His wife came to my office fussing and really upset because she said, we don't do that anymore. Exact quote. We don't do that anymore. And uh, why did you give him those blue pills? I say one, because he asked for them and he was an appropriate candidate for them. Uh, what we need is to give you a pink pill or something to get you in the mood as well uh, so that you are equally yoked from the sexual desire perspective. One of the things about bioidentical hormone replacement therapy is that I like to do partners. I like to do a male man and a woman. Because if I do a woman and she becomes hypersexual and she wants to have sex all the time and the man is not capable or not uh, desirous in, in matching her desire, then that's a problem. And same thing with the woman. If a man, if I give a man a pellet 
and he now is the way that he was 20 years ago and he's you know interested and wants to have sex on a pretty regular basis but his female partner and a wife is not interested in that then uh then you have a dichotomy and you have a conflict so it's best that you treat both partners together so nothing wrong with you, Anna Buckley. Uh, you are right with me. <laughs> so uh, I'm glad it is through the roof. I'm glad that you are taking advantage of life because what's the point of living to 70 if you're not going to enjoy life or living to 80 or living to 90? There is no age that you should not be happy, healthy and enjoying a good sex life uh, if you are physically able and capable of doing so. Great question. Anna. Thank you. you. You just moved into position number one. So remember, Okay, I'm going to get to Michelle in just a second. What's good medicine for arthritis in your hand? Havoc, I want to, again, direct people who might have just logged on that our new website, our website, lipodrops.com, has been enhanced. It is now more interactive. You can actually tune in directly to this broadcast uh, by going to the website. As you can see right now, it's live. You can do it. Uh, you don't have to go to uh, Facebook. You don't have to go to uh, uh, YouTube, and you don't have to go to uh, the gram, Instagram. You can go to the website, and as you see, more inactive, we got weight loss, diabetes, autoimmune diseases, immune supplements. Uh, you know, your questions can be answered. We have a new page that allows you to ask your questions directly throughout the week. You don't just have to wait until you hear me on the Ricky Smiley Morning Show and you call in or uh, for this broadcast. So if, if 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Wednesdays does not work for you, Put your question in. We'll get right back to you and answer your question as quickly as possible. So this new interactive site, again, Havlick and our production team has done a phenomenal job in enhancing our website because we want to better serve uh, our patients and better serve those that are in the Life of Jobs community. We want you to be the best you that you can be. So if you got weight loss problems, you got other health issues, we can address them. We're going to talk about those things. We're going to do everything we can to make you the best you that you can be. So same web address, lipodrops.com, and you can find out. And remember, on every person that we feature on Lipodrops, those are real patients. Those are not uh, just, those are not stock photos. Those are real patients that have used product and lost weight. And so you can see some of the dramatic responses that we have from that perspective. So thank you very much. Having Now, next question. Michelle James, now, what's a good medicine for arthritis in your hand? Arthritis means this. The, 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 the word itis means inflammation of. So arthritis is inflammation of the joints. Appendicitis is inflammation of the appendix. Cholecystitis is inflammation of the gallbladder. So that term means inflammation. So how do you treat inflammation? With anti-inflammatories. The body's first natural anti-inflammatory is vitamin D. So I would tell patients, no matter what or when you were diagnosed and what stage you are with arthritis, and if you live long enough, everyone will get osteoarthritis or degenerative joint disease. Most common area, the hands, the knees, the hips. Uh, but also, you can get rheumatoid arthritis. Rheumatoid arthritis is more of an autoimmune issue. Still, the problem is inflammation. Still, the problem uh, is, is joint pain. But with rheumatoid arthritis, you get joint destruction. So you get deformities of the joints that uh, cannot be repaired. You either have to have a joint replacement or you just suffer and live with the deformity. Osteoarthritis, the most common form of arthritis, uh, can affect the hands and usually affect these knuckles. Osteoarthritis, the distal that's a VIP joint. This is the uh, PIP joint and the MCP joint, the metacarpal phalangeal joint, the proximal and the distal. Uh, phalangeal joint. So those three joints. The first two, if you have what you consider big knuckles, then more than likely you have osteoarthritis. That is called osteonodes. And osteonodes, so I can look at a person's hand when I'm examining them. We They come to the office for the first time and they're introduced and I'm shaking the hand and I'm looking at everything and I see their hands and I say, oh, you have osteoarthritis. They say, how did you know that? I say, because you have osteonodes. What's that? Because no one has talked to them about it and explained to them what that means. So medications first, natural anti-inflammatory vitamin D. Next, uh, something like uh, omega-3 fish oil, which kind of oils and lubes the joints, but also has an anti-inflammatory component. And then the next step would be anti-inflammatory non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medications such as Motrin or ibuprofen, Advil and naproxen sodium, uh, which is Advil or Aleve. And, and then uh, Advil, I'm sorry, is ibuprofen. Aleve is, is uh, naproxen sodium. These are all over the counter 
at basically half the prescription strength. The over-the-counter version of Advil is ibuprofen at 200 milligram tablets. Two of them is 400. That's the recommended dose, and that's the lowest prescription dose. Uh, you can get 400, 800. The most effective anti-inflammatory dose is uh, ibuprofen 800 milligrams or Motrin 800. Now, the next prescription strength is naproxen sodium, 500 milligrams to 750 milligrams. Those doses can be every 8 to 12 hours. And once you're on a prescription product now, that's going to give you some great relief. But if you have rheumatoid arthritis, it's going to be progressive. They actually have some new biological treatment options that, you know, one of the products started off as a product for irritable bowel syndrome. And then they saw that it was giving great relief uh, for joint pain. And they said, wow, we need to use this for arthritis. And, and that's what you see advertised on every sports uh, uh game that you see basketball football they talk about uh, arthritis and they talk about some of the treatments that are available but those those specific biological therapies are for rheumatoid arthritis but for osteoarthritis basic anti-inflammatories there's one natural over-the-counter thing that you can get that contains glucosamine and chondroitin glucosamine and chondroitin is basically made from shark cartilage this is the only thing that's ever been shown to repair and fix joint uh, problems from arthritis, degenerative changes from arthritis. You can start taking that product and do an x-ray and six months later do another x-ray and it looks like a totally different person because that's how much joint repair you've had. They're also doing some things now with um, uh, plasma rich platelets, injections in the joints and shoulders and hips so that people can delay or possibly even prevent having to have a surgical repair because those cells can become anything and you inject platelet rich plasma says a prp into the joint and you get great benefit from it okay next question okay terry jones i always had a low wbc how can i naturally get the white cells up i take multiple vitamins okay terry you need to take again i think vitamin d the body's natural anti-inflammatory but also helps boost your immune system when boosting your immune system one of the things that will happen is that your white blood cell count will hopefully come up one of the things that can happen the reasons you have a low white blood cell count white blood cells fight infection on a continuous basis so when you have that problem uh you can have a a chronic infection it could be a throat infection it could be a sinus infection it could be an internal infection on abscess so your body is fighting that infection on a continuous basis and literally using up your white blood cells uh, uh so fast that your body cannot manufacture them and they're made in the bone marrow and your body can't make them faster than they're being utilized to fight that infection. So you want to make sure that you uh, are not having to deal with a chronic infection somewhere because that also could be one of the reasons that your white blood cells. On a, a, a more invasive uh, note, uh, sometimes your body isn't making the white blood cells for whatever reason. Uh, that diagnosis can be made with a bone marrow biopsy uh, to see uh, if your bone marrow is working, if it's viable, if it's active in making uh, red blood cells and white blood cells and uh, to make sure that there's no other disease process there. But like Dr. Kari says, common things happen more commonly. If you've been having a low white blood cell count and no other problems, then I think that, uh, you know, you probably uh, don't have an issue that will require bone marrow evaluation. Just take uh, the multiple vitamins, vitamin D. Uh, you probably, and uh, also I just had this epiphany. Probiotics may be exactly what you need, Terry. Uh, probiotics are God's gift to the function of the immune system. And uh, this is what we're talking about with white blood cells. So get some probiotics, vitamin D, omega-3 fish oil, good natural ways to boost immune function and see if we can get those white blood cells up. But then if not, then to get an evaluation, I, would, I usually will give a patient a, a 10 to 14 day course of antibiotics in a circumstance such as yours, uh, even if there's no diagnosed infection, uh, just to make sure there isn't an infection and then uh, see what happens after that. Uh, see if the white blood cell comes up. That doesn't do it, then I refer to a hematologist and see if the, uh, a more thorough evaluation is possible. Okay, great question, Terry. Tia Harris Hall, my question is, I'm currently on the Lipomax drops. Is there a caloric range that I should stay in? Could I combine any other weight loss supplements that I should take with Lipomax drops, for example, ACG or Ozempic? Uh, uh, Tia Harris Hall, uh, I would recommend Ozempic if you wanna add something else to it. Uh, the ACG is a bit more dramatic. Uh, when I use ACG for weight loss, I use HCG exclusively. Uh, but the Ozempic is a great partner. I have multiple patients that are on uh, steglutide 
uh, or Ozempic. There's also another name brand called Wegovi. It's the same product manufactured by the same people. They just named it differently. Ozempic has technically a diabetes indication only, uh, but everybody's using it for weight loss. Wegovi is specifically, it's the exact same drug specifically for weight loss indication only. And then there's a, a newer kid on the block called Manjaro. It, it uh, goes to two GLP-1 sites and blocks and it results in even greater weight loss. So the answer to your question is yes, you can supplement it with that. Uh, I have patients that also supplement the lipo drops with a fentermine, which is an appetite suppressant and stimulates your metabolism. So it makes you burn more fat and stops you from being as hungry, it controls your hunger. Uh, but as uh, one of my good uh, physician friends used to say, if, you, if you're on a, a, a weight loss plan and you're feeling hungry, embrace the hunger. That means that you're losing the weight. So you don't, the, the objective is not to ever not feel hungry. Sometimes you're going to feel hungry. I myself have to make a conscientious effort to decide, okay, uh, I'm feeling hungry right now. I'm craving chocolate. I'm craving a milkshake. I'm craving something. I just have to embrace that hunger and take it from there. Okay. So have it. I want you to go to the website and demonstrate that again. Uh, I have to step away for one second. Can you go to the website, Hadley? Okay, I apologize. That was one of my office staff. I don't know what's going on. Just want to make sure there wasn't a patient that needed uh, my attention. So look at this new enhanced wet lights. I love this. It is really a, a great opportunity to get some great information about what's going on. And look at some of that information about B12, choline, carnitine, all of the products that are inside the Life Drops Max. And so now you, you will understand what it is and why it works the way that it does. It's amazing. Uh, we started off with the Life Drop product. Uh, individuals are having great success with it. But like most people, you, you use a product, you lose weight. You say, well, if a little did good, a lot may do better. So people were taking more of it and uh, and actually having more success with it. So Dr. Kaya did not endorse that uh, originally, but uh, after we did a, a research uh, protocol and we saw that not only was the uh, lipo drops working at higher doses, but we could come up with a maximum formulation and that we did. And for that maximum formulation, we're getting uh, even more phenomenal results. So you look at some of the people, remember these are real patients that are utilizing the Life of Dots Max for weight loss. And we're telling, and we want you to submit your pictures, submit your stories, how long you've been on the drops, what kind of success you're having with it. And, uh, you know, and look at some of the deals that you have. If you are tuning in to this broadcast and you can see what's going on with your, your weight loss. Okay. Great. Now, thank you, Evan. We're back. Back to live questions. C.L. Turner, I've been having a feeling of something being stuck in my throat. I was on prescribed acid reflux medication. It didn't help any. I was told by my gastroenterologist that I have a slow swallow and practice drinking plenty of fluids with my meals, which I'm currently doing. However, I still have that feeling. I was prescribed a nighttime medication that helps, but it's had me during the day also. When I swallow a pill, it feels like the pill gets stuck in my throat. Okay, so see, you got that foreign body sensation. You probably have irritation of the lining of the esophagus. Uh, so that's the, the tube that goes from your mouth until uh, and enters your stomach. And if that's the case, if you, you could have irritated that in some way uh, so that it's healing and it takes time to do that. Medication that they gave you decreases acid production and will allow that tissue, which is one of the fastest growing tissues in your body. Because every time you swallow, you're basically scraping off the lining of the esophagus in doing so. So if you had something that you didn't chew thoroughly or something that might have been a, a little crunchy or something that could have uh, insulted the esophagus uh, at some point, then it's got to go through that healing process. So uh, things that, uh, again, sipping between um, bites of food, eating smaller bites of food and chewing more thoroughly. You're actually supposed to chew about 15 times. Nobody does that. But it's very important that you do not gulp food. And foods that are difficult and slower to digest like steaks would, would probably give you more problem than something that is easy to digest like fish or chicken. So uh, it's going to be a process. You're probably going to be into this for six to 12 weeks before you really ha have lost that sensation. The key point is not to do anything that keeps aggravating it. Okay. Next question. 
What is the best medicine to use to get rid of dark spots after you after you're in remission from like complainers? How long should I take? Five thousand this and that units of vitamin D. Sherry Rubin, you should take five thousand this and that vitamin D every day for the rest of your life because that is one of the best things you can do to uh, keep your skin as healthy as it can be. Vitamin E as well. I like vitamin E oil, uh, and you can get a large bottle of it for just a couple of dollars in most places. You, there are some expensive options for the exact same thing. But I literally purchased mine from the store where everything used to be a dollar. Now it's a dollar and a quarter. Uh, they have a great vitamin D oil preparation uh, that you can use. And you can use it anywhere. You can use it on your hair. You can use it on your skin. You can use it on your face uh, because it's, it's, it will moisturize. And the vitamin uh, E, etc., will help heal skin and, and, and keep skin youthful. Uh, there's also been some, um, some research that shows that metformin, which is technically a diabetic drug, has a uh, a good benefit for skin when taking it. Uh, you don't have to take it in the diabetic doses. Most people are taking 500 milligrams once a day, and that helps with, uh, it has an anti-aging function. It slows down what's called uh, liposis or uh, apoptosis, uh, which is cell death. And so it slows, apoptosis, it slows down uh, that process so your cells don't age as quickly and you stay youthful. This is amazing. So one of those things that you can do, but this is going to be a continuous thing. Um, you're you're going to have to stay on top of this before you have a flare up or to try to keep it under control. Great question, Jerry. Great question. Wendy King, I'm in stage five kidney failure on dialysis. My BMI is over 100. I need to lose weight in order to get on the transplant list. Lipo drops will help, Wendy, uh, and it's very important. Again, lipo drops as part of a uh, you're going to need calorie restriction and you're going to need to lose your weight in the kitchen. So stage five kidney failure, that, that basically means you have no urine function and you're not urinating, you're not making urine. So dialysis is what's keeping you alive. The best way to fix that is to get a new kidney. And so you have to qualify to get on a transplant list. And to do that, you have to lose weight. So lipodrops is an excellent alternative because it doesn't care that you're in kidney function. It's absorbed under the tongue. There are uh, certain various types of medications that once you're in uh, stage five renal failure, you can't take because your kidneys are part of the metabolic process and the medication dose has to either be altered, cut in half, or because it will build up in your body to sometimes toxic levels. Uh, and you don't have that issue with the lipo drop. So it's basically just amino acids, perfectly natural, that help you, your body metabolize fat. So your story is one that we definitely want to follow. We want you to, to do that and to get this weight off of you so that you can get on that transplant list. Uh, and check with uh, family members, that would be the best candidates because they're probably a closer match. But I've seen cases where people just went on the donor list and a complete stranger was a better match uh, genetically than a family member. And they get the kidneys and they do well. It's life changing. You're off dialysis and now you're back to a life because when you're on dialysis, you have to live for dialysis. You get it every other day. Uh, you have to be very concerned about traveling. Uh, you have to make sure that uh, if you are traveling, you're going for more than 48 hours, you've set up uh, dialysis at the place wherever you're going. So if you're going to casinos in Las Vegas, you got to have dialysis set up in Las Vegas. Or if you're going to Mississippi Gulf Coast or something uh, of that nature, you have to make sure that you're doing that. They actually even have dialysis cruises. So if you like to cruise and you say, well, I can't go on a cruise because I'm on dialysis. Guess what? There are cruise ships that do dialysis, so you can go and enjoy the, that cruise just like anybody else. So the answer to your question is yes. I think that that will help. It's one of the things that will do it. But again, it's going to be very important that you either do intermittent fasting, which means eat everything that you're going to eat in one eight-hour period. You're going to have to embrace the hunger. Uh, you already are limited as the amount of fluids that you can drink. Uh, so you got to be, it's, it's very delicate balance to get you to successfully lose the weight. So great question, Wendy, and good luck to you. Mesmerizing measure. Oh, I love that. Having lupus, uh, SLE, lupus, systemic uh, lupus, uh, urethematosus. My immune system is already fighting against me. What are some vitamins that won't flare me up or cause more inflammation? Again, the anti-inflammatory vitamins. You should be taking vitamin D. Uh, 5,000 international units per day, omega-3 fish oil and probiotics, all three of those things I have all my lupus patients taking. And I tell you, it makes a major difference. You should also have uh, complete uh, allergy testing, blood allergy testing for environmental, uh, indoor and outdoor. There's cats, dogs, there's moles, there's fungi. Uh, 
that's uh, things like penicillin and also food allergies. You may be doing everything right and you're eating something that you are, are allergic to or is causing inflammation throughout your body. Uh, I had a patient uh, this week, this week, and today is just Wednesday, that was allergic to chicken, allergic to shrimp, the number one appetizer in our culture. And I had a patient correct me yesterday. She said, no, the number one appetizer is wings. I said, well, that's true. <laughs> but the but shrimp is also right there. And so number one appetizer is allergic to chicken and shrimp. I say, so I feel for you. They actually were allergic to beef as well and tuna and salmon. So they think that they are healthy. Uh, those food choices that they may have had were and salmon was that one of the number one things they were allergic to. Uh, slightly allergic to beef, but not allergic to pork at all. So uh, those things, if you make those types of adjustments in your diet, it may have a major uh, improvement in your lupus symptoms as well. So very important that you do that. Uh, we can, uh, when doing so, I found that I can oftentimes decrease the dose or even come off completely steroids, which are the primary uh, treatment at this point. And uh, steroids work wonderfully. They have their own uh, issues, however, because they can make your blood sugar go up and they can um, predispose you to weight gain. They don't make you gain weight. There are no calories in both those pills, but they do predispose you to weight gain. And so it's very important that if you're having to take steroids, uh, that you are monitoring your caloric intake and making sure that you're burning as much calories as you're taking in or burning even more so that you will lose weight. That is the formula for weight loss. You have to burn more calories than you're taking in. That's a common phenomenon and it's easy enough to understand, but it's exactly what you have to do and you have to keep doing it. So ask your doctor for blood allergy testing. If they can literally do it with one drop of blood, one drop of blood. So when you're in your routine blood work, ask for blood allergy testing. You do not want to get scratch tests where they, where they basically uh, put things on your back or your arms because you can have an uh, immediate allergic reaction. That won't happen with blood allergy testing because your blood will respond, but you won't. You're not even there. So not a problem. But this has been a major game changer in my treatment uh, protocols in my office with people that are looking for weight loss, for people that are diabetic, and for people that have other allergies, they have eczema, they have asthma. And the problem is uh, not the pollen that they're out there thinking that it is, uh, it's foods that they're eating. And so we can change their life by altering their food intake. Great question. Will Thompson, what do you advise about ED? I'm 50 years old. Will, a variety of things. One, uh, if you have spontaneous erections, that means you wake up with an erection like you did when you were a teenager. Or... If you just, you know, sometimes get an erection, it happens. You're watching a movie or you have a pleasant thought that's sexual in nature and all of a sudden you have an erection. That means the plumbing is working just fine and that's not really the issue. Uh, drugs like Viagra, Cialis, and uh, um, uh, there are uh, uh, three of them, but Viagra, Cialis is the most common one. Uh, those medications, uh, the, the other ones are in the field. When you take those medications, they cause the closing of the gate is kind of like the Panama Canal. The mechanism of erection is one of blood flow. So blood flows into the penis and the gates of the Panama Canal come together and close and hold that blood in the penis. And when you ejaculate, the gates open and you lose your erection. It happens 100% of the time. And that's what's supposed to happen. But oftentimes, uh, you know, men say, oh, you're not going to go for three hours. I know you can't. Once you ejaculate, you're going to lose that erection. Now you may come back quickly. But the natural response is for those gates to open the blood to leave the penis and you lose the erection. Now, if there's a problem holding that gate, that's a plumbing problem. And so that's one of the things that medications like Viagra and Cialis do. They keep that gate closed uh, when there's not major damage with blood flow, but it's something that can be corrected um, uh, with a pharmaceutical like that. Uh, that will give you erection. It gives you the capability of getting multiple erections in a period of time that may last eight to 12 hours for Viagra, which may last up to three days for Cialis. They call Cialis the weekend wonder. You take Cialis on Friday, you're good through Sunday. Although if you want to, you can take one on Friday, you can take one on Saturday, you can take one on Sunday. The biggest problem with those types of medications are most people, they don't take them correctly. Uh, Viagra in particular is very sensitive to food and alcohol. And unfortunately, sexual intercourse is oftentimes preceded by a fine dining experience. You go out to dinner, you have a dinner date, and you have a couple of cocktails, you go home, want to have sex. Well, 
when that happens, if you take a Viagra at that point, it's not going to be absorbed in your system. So let's say you had dental reservations at 8. Now it's 10, 10, 30. You take the Viagra and nothing happens. And so you've tried. You hadn't been able to rise to the occasion. You're frustrated. Your, your partner's frustrated. You go to sleep. Now at midnight, you wake up and you're poking and rising the sheets up. Uh, now she's asleep. She got to get up and go to work in the morning. She's saying, oh, no, I'm sorry. You had your chance. You missed it. The problem was that the Viagra was not absorbed because there was too much food and or alcohol on the stomach. So, again, it will last six to eight hours. What I tell my male patients are, if you know it's date night and you know it's going to happen and uh, you're pretty sure you never know over 100 percent. But if you say, I, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to probably uh, she's going to be in the mood. She knows I want to have sex tonight. It's going to be good. You can take it on the way to dinner. It's, it's, if you take it, it's out of your stomach in 15 minutes if you take it with a full glass of water and it's working. It's not as if you take one of those pills and you get an immediate erection and your pants are poking out while you are sitting at dinner. No, but the potential is there. The potential is there. So you can get an erection, but you probably won't until you're stimulated. Once you're stimulated, then you'll have that. They'll be waiting for you after dinner. Uh, it'll be there for the next six to eight hours so you can have a good, good evening in doing so. Now, if, if those types of medications have not worked for you, we have a great product called Lipo-T. Lipo-T is a product that you take daily. You can take two capsules or three capsules. This is life-changing. Dr. Kaya takes this and is uh, glad that he does. And Mrs. Kaya is hopefully glad that he does as well. So uh, this product, Lipo-T, it's going to be on the website soon, and you'll be able to get it. I'm going to get a bottle and show it to you. This product, Lipo T. Let me see, can I get it straight there? There you go, Lipo T. So this bottle is red because you're gonna be red hot. So Lipo T, this is the man's product, ladies. Two capsules or three capsules every day after dinner and before bedtime. And you're just always ready at that point. You take this, it's never a question as to whether you're going to be able to perform because you will. Uh, Dr. Kaya has uh, many patients that I work with, uh, for instance, at my barber shop. Uh, this product has become very popular. If I walk into my barber shop and don't bring a bag uh, for the, all of the barbers and I think I'm 10 or 12 people in there, uh, then they're a little disenchanted with me at that point. So if I want to get a decent haircut, I better make sure that I bring a lipo tea with me. Once my male patients try this, they never want to be without it. They really never want to be without it. So again, it's one of those things that I take of the lipo line products that I take. I take vitamin D, I take omega-3 fish oil, and I take probiotics every day. I take the Lipo-T every day. And then uh, now that I'm, I've am i completed my weight loss journey and in maintenance, I take the Lipo drops. But during my weight loss journey, I was taking the Lipo drops, the probiotic, the keto max uh, to optimize my weight loss and the Lipo cleanse. And again, the Lipo cleanse is part of the belly uh, lowering because it keeps your colon empty. It's not a laxative. It does not give you uncontrollable uh, bowel movements, but what it does do is allow you to have large, easy to pass bowel movements because as you lose weight, the fat that you're losing comes out of your bowel and, and all the things that were in the fat, all those toxins come out of your bowel. You don't want to store that. You want to move that out as quickly as possible. So you will be amazed at just how large a stool can be. Uh, you are like, wow, that came out of me. You look at it, you say, wow, this is phenomenal. Than getting rid of all of this. And then you'll just notice that your stomach is shrinking. You don't have bubble gut. Uh, the food moves through you in a very good way. So those, that, that's a long answer to your question, Will. So uh, those products now, Viagra Cialis Levitra is the other one. I couldn't think of the name earlier. Those products at one point were as high as $59 to $79 per tablet. That was ridiculous. Now you can get them for two to five bucks virtually anywhere. I, but I know Walmart, Costco, Sam's Club, even your regular pharmacies now have good deals on those drugs. You do have to have a prescription to get them, though. So uh, two uh, to five dollars uh, is a reasonable investment into a, a great sexual experience and something that I recommend. So try those products out first. Try the Lipo T. Uh, it'll be available on our website very soon. You'll be able to get it and it's going to be life changing. So Lipo T. Get with D with Lipo T. That's going to be my new catchphrase. Get with D with Lipo T. Okay, great question. Linda Sproul, what is the product you take if you're over 70 to lose weight and diet? Uh, the same product you take if you're over 60 or if you're over 50 or if you're over 40. The Lipo Drops Max works no matter what your age is and it's perfectly compatible 
with any disease state, you can have high blood pressure. You can have diabetes. You can have high cholesterol. You can have none of those things. Uh, you can take the lipo drops. It's perfectly safe to do so. Uh, and there's no age restriction on those things. So uh, everybody, you know, if you're overweight in your 70, you want to lose weight, just like if you're overweight in your 40. You want to get rid of, you want to lose that muffin top with the lipo drops. But you also uh, may need a little more stimulation. So the Keto Max may be a product for you, as, which puts your body in a ketotic state. So it's like being on the keto diet without having to be on the keto diet. But it gives you ketosis, which helps metabolize fat in a very efficient way. But you want to make sure, again, that your, your colon remains empty. So the lipo cleanse, great product for you. And probiotics for GI and immune health. So uh, all of those products would be things I recommend for you, Linda. Go to the website, lipodrops.com, and answer your healthcare questions. Okay. Sylvia Jones, what is something that you can take with LDL? LDL is low-density lipoprotein. That is the bad cholesterol. So when you get a full lipid panel, that consists of the total cholesterol and then the breakdown of the HDL, the high-density lipoprotein. That is the good cholesterol. And the LDL, the low-density lipoprotein, that is the bad cholesterol. The HDL prevents you from having a heart attack or a stroke. That number should be uh, 40 or higher. The higher the HDL cholesterol is, the better for you, the more cardio protection that you have. The LDL, the bad cholesterol, should be less than 100. Your total cholesterol should be less than 200. So your LDL, the bad cholesterol, should be less than 100 and ideally less than 70. But less than 100 is technically normal. If you have, uh, if you're at risk for cardiovascular disease or have had a heart attack or a stroke or have high blood pressure, Ideally, you want to get that LDL down to 70. So uh, things like uh, red yeast rice are very good. Again, I like omega-3 fish oils are very good, but you need to take a higher dose. The standard dose would be a one um, 1,000 milligram capsule twice daily. Uh, if you have a high LDL, I would double that and make it two 1,000 milligram capsules twice daily. The uh, omega-3 that we have, the lipo omega, has 1,480 uh, milligrams in it. So one twice daily of that reaches close enough to that goal for you to be effective. But you can add a third one per day if you like, but two a day will probably get you down. Those are the natural things that you can do to get your LDL down. But if your LDL is too high, if it's greater than 150, then you need to take medicine. You need to take a statin class drugs, uh, Lipitor or a Atorvastatin is the number one uh, selling uh, statin class drug, the most potent is Resuvastatin or Crestar. Uh, it will lower LDL and triglycerides and increase your HDL. So the, so it pumps up the good cholesterol, lowers the bad cholesterol, and will get you down. So the compromise that I make, because patients never want to take a cholesterol-lowering medication, they always say, isn't there something natural I can do to lower my cholesterol? And there is. But uh, if you need to drop it a certain level, it's not going to happen with natural products. That may drop it 20 points, but you may need to drop it 50 points or 70 points, and you cannot do that without medication. And so you can go on a strict diet. You can be a lacto-vegetarian and only eat things that, that that don't have a mother and don't have a face. And you still uh, cannot get that cholesterol down because your body just is the way that you are. You just cannot effectively and efficiently metabolize fats, so you need to take medications. So you get the stand class drug, the compromise that I make with patients, and so we take the statin, get your cholesterol down. Once it's down, we'll see if we can keep it down naturally. But instead of taking six months to a year to try to get it down and nothing happens, except you're getting closer to a heart attack or a stroke, if you don't have a heart attack or a stroke uh, while you're trying to get it down, then uh, let's get it down. We can get it down in a matter of months with uh, with uh, either of those products, uh, Crestor or Subastatin or Lipitor or uh, There are others, Simvastatin. Uh, and then uh, there's one called uh, uh, Let's Call. Uh, there's one called Provacol or Provastatin. Uh, but the, the the two that I recommend because there are two that work in that very potent. That's the Atorvastatin and the Resuvastatin. Get it down. I can get it down in a month, no more than three, and then see if we can keep it down. Now, I have this happen all the time. Patients come off the medication, plus while goes right back up, we've done the test. We see that you need to be on the medication, so embrace that you need to be on the medication, stay on the medication, take it every day, you'll add 10 to 15 years to your life. And 10 quality years, 15 quality years, where you don't have Alzheimer's, where men are still getting uh, functional erections, where women, uh, you haven't had a stroke, you haven't had a heart attack, 
uh, your skin still looks supple. You're still feeling good and looking good. So that's the type of, if you want longevity, you want longevity with good health. Nothing worse than living to be 90 years old, but you bed bound, uh, can't feed yourself. And, uh, you know, now you, you, you know, maybe possibly can't control your body. Your bladder. So that's not the way you want to live. Great question, Sylvia. And the final question. So thank everybody for tuning in tonight. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Your Health is Important radio broadcast. We are here for you and to answer your health care questions. And remember, ladies, we want you to ask your doctors and men. Talk to your doctors about getting screened. Get that cola guard. We want you to. You can do this in the in the, uh, the privacy of your own home. Get yourself screened. If you are 45 years or older, you should be screened. Doesn't matter what your family history is. Doesn't matter whether you're having any signs or symptoms. Colon cancer, the least diagnosed, the easiest to treat, and the best outcome if diagnosed early. Get your cola guard right here, right now. And tune in in two weeks for the Your Health is Important Facebook Live broadcast where we're here to answer your health care questions. So thank you very much. Once again, thank you, Havoc, for a great show. Your production assistant is great. Go to the new website, lifeofdrops.com. It is enhanced. It is interactive. And we want you to be a part of our Life of Drops family. Thank you so much. We're